Now, the next thing I'd like to do is assess the talar dome. So we're going to use the lateral malleolus here as a landmark, dropping into this little recess or depression right here, and we're going to palpate the talar dome, and we can move the foot into a bit of plantar flexion and, and dorsiflexion, and just palpate that surface of the dome, looking for any tenderness, uh, which would be indicative of osteochondral defects. So that is a simple palpation of the talar dome. Now let's assess the base of the fifth metatarsal for possible fracture. Anecdotally, we had a patient this year that suffered an inversion sprain, stepping down from one step onto a power cord, and it elicited extreme pain and tenderness in this area, and she was unable to walk. So you wouldn't think that an injury like that would cause a fracture, but yet we sent her for x-rays and it did confirm a fracture. So that's something to think about. When assessing the fifth metatarsal, the base of the fifth metatarsal, we're gonna palpate it, see if we can elicit pain. And if you do suspect that, you know, based on the tenderness and presentation of the patient that there could be a fracture, this would be worth sending out for an x-ray. Next, we'll assess for syndesmosis damage. And what the syndesmosis is, it's the fascial connections between the tibia and the fibula, so between the two bones. It's that connective tissue that binds them together. The first test is the external rotation test. So we're gonna dorsiflex the foot, just gonna stabilize the leg, and we're creating external rotation, seeing if we elicit any pain between the fibula and the tibia. The second test is the squeeze test. So we're gonna stabilize the leg, put pressure on the fibula and the tibia, and we're gonna squeeze them together. And once again, looking for a painful response. So that is two tests assessing for syndesmosis damage, the squeeze test and the external rotation test.